The head of a Perth boys college wants city families to consider boarding school for their kids. Hale School headmaster Dean DeLauro says so-called urban boarding helps students become more independent and learn social skills. He also claims it's academically beneficial with boarding staff able to provide educational support which can't be replicated at home. Hale School charges $23,000 a year for boarding on top of $25,000 a year for tuition. So let's see what our pulse guests think about this and joining me this afternoon we're lucky to have Fremantle Mayor Brad Pettit on with us today and WA Today's Brendan Foster. Welcome to you both. Good Good How are you? Now Brendan first to you would you consider urban boarding for your kids? Well, we consider it, but I'm a journalist. I can't afford 50 grand to send my kids to... Uh, I have three children. I mean, that, I mean, I'd have to work 25 jobs to have had to send my kids to uh, Hale School. So as much as I would love to send my kids off for the next 15 years, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can afford it. It is a pretty pricey way. Uh, would you, perhaps in their later years, the 11 and 12, when they're probably, you know, focusing on their studies... No, no. No. <laughs> now, Brad, the principal says boarding helps students become more independent and learn social skills. Shouldn't we already be teaching these sort of things at home? Yeah, I would have thought so. And actually, imagine that in 11, years 11 and 12 when the pressure's on, you actually want that kind of your parents around and that kind of support around. Mm. It's, it's a pretty emotional time for kids trying mm. to get through that. So I imagine it would take a special kind of kid to want to be away from the family for that period. Yeah, apparently they do go home on weekends, so it's more just a sort of Monday to Friday, and I guess parents, working parents, are working longer hours. So I don't know, it might be something to consider, oh, but it is I don't pretty want pricey. Them home on the weekend, weekends <laughs> are fun. No, I want, them, I want them to stay seven days a week. I'm paying 50 grand, I'm there all year round. You want to be able to go out, do you? Yeah, yeah. On your Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. OK, moving on, guys, and we're going to talk modern relationships now and the concept of adult pocket money. There are many couples who operate with one providing an allowance to the other. Now, eight out of ten people don't know how much money they spend and a quarter of all households don't know how much debt they have. Now, Brendan, do you have an allowance? Uh, I feel like this is a loaded question. I, I almost feel like I should pass this one. I'm, I may have to use my allowance to, to sleep in an Airbnb tonight. With my, my, my wife's going to be listening. I think if anyone deserves my, anyone deserves an allowance, um, uh, my wife probably does. But uh, I look, we have a shared account, and look, mm -hmm. you know, I probably spend way too much on on slow horses, and, and uh, she probably spends way too much on coffees. But I think I think it balances itself out at the end. I think. Okay. Now, Brad, what's wrong with this scenario? What if one person is just really bad with money? Yes, that's it's very true. I can imagine. Why some people do it if you've got someone who's uh, who just likes to get the get the credit card out. But it's actually interesting. I was saying to Brendan earlier, my parents used to do something like this when when I grew up. I remember mm. Dad bringing home the the old paycheck that was just you know was actually money and did dishing out you know here's the food the, the food book and here's my mum's allowance for the next fortnight and those kinds of things. So maybe it's a bit of a historical hand me down to the way that our parents did it so we kind of keep doing the did same thing. Did you get an thing. allowance? Did they give you an allowance? Yeah, I used to get paid 10 cents for every year I was. So when I was seven, I got 70 cents. <laughs> wow. Did you have to do anything for that allowance or just I exist? I had to like feed the chooks and those <laughs> Oh, OK. <things>. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it all adds up. It all adds up. Look, finally, guys, beer baths exist and apparently your body will thank you. That's the promise from an Icelandic spa which claimed bathing in beer is good for cleansing your skin. Apparently other countries have been doing it for years. Now, Brad, I imagine this kind of thing or this spa maybe might take off here. Yeah. What about an idea for Frio? Yeah, look, if, if you <laughs> do it anywhere, it could be Frio. There's a lot of microbreweries. I was thinking yeah. to myself, like, like, with a pale ale, like, you have special kinds of beers, like a pale ale mm. when you want to kind of lighten up or a bright ale when you want to kind of get a bit of rejuvenation. No, I... Although I imagine my mates watching this would go, what a waste of beer. You should be drinking the stuff, not, uh, not, not bathing in it. I more. could see little creatures sort of having a spa sort of next door. So people could go to that. Perfect. Overlooking fishing boat harbour. Mm. It's kind of like bringing back, you know, kind of yeah, pubs and um, beauty, you know, beauty therapy together. I, I quite like it. Yeah, it'll it might be, be for the whole council, family. It'll be a council item this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brendan, do you think you'd be able to drive after this bath? I think we're just going to show. Are we showing a picture? We might be showing a picture. I don't know, but if you yeah. had a bath, I, I just guess. Think, I just you... think the irony of a beer being healthy for you is just you know, completely right. Mm. Look, if I if I was in a, a, a beer of bath, there's a good chance I would drown, let's be honest. I, I would probably drink <laughs> most of the beer and then probably just pass out and drown the last two inches. So it's probably not a very, no, beer and bath for me are not going to go very well. So it might be something that needs supervised visits. <laughs> or a, a massive plug for, yeah. me to, for, for me to pull out. No, no. <laughs>
<laughs> no, not at all. Okay, well, maybe, you know, it could be a concept down the line for Frio, perhaps, though. Yeah, always, always up for new ideas to bring, bring tourists in as well. Okay. You might have to patent this, Emmy. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Brad Pettit, Brendan Foster, thanks for sharing everything. No worries. Thanks, <laughs> have a great weekend. Cheers, mate. <laughs>